All right, so <laughs> I've tried this a couple times. Let's see if this works this time. Um, what's up, guys? This is just gonna be a little quick tutorial slash overview of Fraps and you know how you download and buy it. Also, uh, what you can do with it, you know. So this is Fraps.com. This is where you'd buy it and download it. Right now it's uh, the 30th of whatever that is, May. Sorry. <laughs> And 3.5.3 uh, is the last release. Uh, basically, what Fraps is is a you know it's kind of a benchmarking software, um, but you can also capture video or uh, screen capture. Sorry. Um, so like benchmarking f FPS, you can do that on some other programs as well for free. But it's nice to have that in addition to these other two. Uh, at the same time, you can set, you know, custom benchmarks, as it says, is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, screen capture is pretty cool. Um, since you're only using one program, it's a little easier. You can just uh, have the benchmark up and then take the screenshot and also have the little FPS uh, indi overlay sorry, up in the corner and, you know, show everyone that this is what you're getting on your GTX 690 quad SLI. <laughs> uh computer and then also the video capture which is what I'm using uh, so that you can record your screen and show everyone your beautiful videos that you like making here's you know it has some little examples here of different uh, FPS and resolution and games and stuff like that um, but yeah if you want to try it out there's actually a free version right here and it's it's limited in a couple ways. You can only record for 30 seconds. Uh, I believe there's some other restrictions, but I'm not sure because I didn't really mess around with that. Um, but to buy it, you just go over here to buy. And you click right here, and then boom, boom, boom. My computer will load. Slow computer. Uh, it's 37 bucks, which is kind of an odd number, but you know, whatever. It's better than 40, I guess. Uh, you can pay with PayPal, or if you just have a credit or debit card, you can just boom, boom, boom. Uh, you know, street type, asphalt, dirt, gravel, you know, whatever. They don't discriminate, which is nice. You put your email in, and then when you click in here, uh, it'll send a little registration thing to your email. And um, from there, it'll send you here to the members area, and you just uh, click that and uh, go down, and you download the... Uh, not free version, this is the full version. Uh, here's the requirements for your computer. You can also download the previous version if you want, uh, which I don't know exactly why, maybe if your computer doesn't support the newer version, but you can do that. Uh, then it'll download the setup real quick and then you just run it. And it takes about 20 seconds for that whole thing to happen. Oop. And um, get, get this out of here, there we go. And then you got, there's a general page, I'm not going to show you that because that has my email on it, so whatever. Uh, but here's the benchmark, it saves the, on your local drive, FRAPS benchmarks. Uh, the hotkey for it is F11, you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, it'll do FPS, frame times, min, max, average of those. Uh, you can also do a stop benchmark after however many seconds. You know, you can do 100 seconds, 100,000 seconds, whatever you want. Um... You can change where the overlay goes. The overlay it doesn't even have to be there. You can just press F12 and it'll go away. Or you can say hi to overlay. Um, so you can change that also. Uh, that's really cool with the with the seconds though, is that you can do the same thing twice and record for exactly the same amount of time. And the, you know, if you're using different settings on a game, you can compare the differences, see what's going on, uh, what you know, how this anti-aliasing is affecting my game stuff like that if you want to sacrifice performance for uh, visual quality um, the movies which is what I'm using right at this very moment uh, saves under movies you uh, the default is F9 I'm just leaving that there because that's you know I don't use that for anything else you can switch uh, what resolution you want it what frames uh, um, you know 60 50 30 you can also do a custom you need to loop the buffer length. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure someone will tell me. Uh, 
this new version actually added in split movie every four gigabytes which is nice if you're using like a really large video um, it'll save it every four gigabytes so if you lose part of your data you won't lose all of it which is nice so you can kind of salvage it and then also it helps in encoding if your computer's kind of slow you can encode every four gigabytes instead of making your computer freeze up and then you get all freaked out and you know delete fraps run your virus software and then call it a day but so that's really nice I like that and then uh, you know you can set recording sound if you don't want it to bang at you every five seconds you can turn that off uh, you can record you know if you're gonna use a mic you're gonna need to click that right there and that's what I'm using um, you can also set it to only capture when you're pressing a button which I'm not gonna do because that just you know makes it harder for me uh, you can hide the mouse cursor lock the frame rate force lossless RGB capture which would be nice if my computer would do that um, for the screenshots it saves on the screenshots press F10 to capture it it just boom captures it as a bitmap JPEG ping TGA uh, whatever you want uh, you can include the frame rate overlay, which is nice if you want to, you know, capture the same two points in the game with different settings or something like that. You can uh, do that real quick. You can also repeat it every how many seconds until you press it again, which is, you know, similar to this guy right here. Nice for repeatability, <laughs> for replicating your results. Um, other than that, you got a little help thing in case you need something other than what's in this little video tutorial. Um, also for the movies, um, since you're recording real time, it doesn't have time to encode it. So normally when you do that, you get like really big videos. Let me see right here. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, boom. There you go. <laughs> I forgot where the frap saves. But yeah, it's like this one is 40 seconds. It's almost you know 700 gig uh, megabytes. Sorry. It's only 1360 by 768, but if you take that and you go to Windows Live Movie Maker or, you know, some other program, if you're on a Mac, you can do it there. Um, but you just put it in here and you can save it, and it'll save it as a WMV file, which, you know, compresses it a lot. So that's pretty nice. Um, I also use, I'm not using it right now because I'm retarded, but... Uh, sound recorder here for recording your sound in case the sound on your video gets corrupted or something and you just you gotta back up I guess and that you just you know click here and go record and then you got it but so yeah um thanks guys for watching um if you could leave a rating that'd be awesome uh you know like would be preferred but <laughs> I you know I'll take what I can get really and um, you can subscribe if you want. I will have some more videos. This is my first of many, hopefully. That's why I got Fraps in the first place, and that's why I'm telling you how to use it, because I like videos, and I like making videos. So thanks a lot, guys, and uh, have fun. Uh, one more thing, guys, real quick. Uh, if you're going to, say, upload this to YouTube or something, you're going to have to, um, re because when you just save it, it'll save it as a project as a WLMP file but um, if you're going to save it as a um, as a WMV file you want to uh, make sure you go up here and you click recommended for this project and then should save it as a Windows Media Video file and you just boom save it and uh, it'll save it so thanks a lot guys